People have known for a long time violence begets violence, but I don't think people really understood that it is actually a contagious problem. We look at violence as an epidemic. It's a disease, and it's contagious. I was shot and paralyzed at 18. I went back to that same environment where I was shot at, did the same things, the same problem that we see and face every day. My friends was part of that problem. They was irate, pissed off, ready to retaliate. I'll be 42 this year. I ain't just changed overnight. We partnered with three level one trauma centers. It started out with outreach workers, then violence interrupters, and then you took those same two components and put it inside the hospital institution where we just replicate what we did in the community. We do have a particular interest in patients who've been victims of violence and who've been exposed to violence. When someone comes in with a violent injury, with a gunshot wound, for example, we're already kind of attuned to the notion that we need to investigate not only what happened in this particular instance, but what happened before. Whenever someone is shot, stabbed, or jumped on, either myself or someone from my team go talk to the victim and the family. Hold on, that's the hospital calling right there. Anyone at the hospital staff could call the hotline number. And this is seven days a week, 24 hours a day, right then and then in the crisis. OK. Uh, is he awake and talking? All right, thank you. Violent injury accounts for maybe half of our patients here. We know that our patient population comes from a place where they may have witnessed violence before, they may have seen their friends or loved ones shot or injured in some way, or people die. When you look at the people that we're serving, these are some of the people that you know people have gave up on, threw their hands up, and say enough is enough. But because we come from some of those same neighborhoods, because we're familiar with that same population, they tend to listen to us. We give them the platform to say, you could change your life. There's some people that we've ran into that we knew about before we ran into them, that we knew it wasn't no change in these guys. But the fact that they were in here, we had that opportunity. The door opened. Violence is a public health problem. What happens when they leave the hospital? There has to be a community. That community has now been traumatized. That family has been traumatized. I'm probably one of the most modest people you're probably going to speak to, at least that work for ceasefire. But if I was to sound cocky, we damn good at what we do.